we are in Lisbon in Portugal for one week. So MN Fuels is a minimalist leather goods brand, which we started with my wife in 2014 as a side hustle. And I always have had a strong drive to create my own product that I can ship to other people and it will somehow improve their lives. And also to have full control over how it's made, how it's built and how it's sold. And it's generally harder to start a product company than a service company. And as a service, I mean that you have a skill, let's say web design, and you look for clients who then can hire you for, for doing so. In the product company, you have full responsibility and full ownership of every aspect of the product and over every step of product lifecycle. So why leather? First of all, it's very beautiful and timeless material. And it was also kind of easy to start with because we ordered one piece of leather for only one wallet and we started experimenting with it, uh, how we can paint it, fold it and sew it. I made the first wallet with the simplest design possible and it turns out to be quite easy. Uh, I, then I used my photography and web design skills. Uh, I put some photos on Instagram bootstrap a very simple online shop on WordPress and basically we gained traction from day one and we had orders from day one so it was super exciting and we also started building community on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook. And for production I used lean manufacturing principles, so I made one wallet from start to finish and then think about what could be done better or faster and then start another wallet. And after 10 wallets the process was pretty much set and after 100 it was really perfect. So the key takeaways from our successful start are number one is to leverage. Basically, pick a business idea when you can use as much skills, resources and capital as you can that you own by yourself. Number two is start small but iterate fast. Because product development doesn't stop when you start shipping product to your customers. It is actually, actually when it begins. And start building community from day one and listen what people say. Let's go. So the start was great, over time we added more products and more colors, but after three years we stopped operating and that was because we failed to scale up. We couldn't find any craftsmen and I was still the only person to take care of the production. Uh, we couldn't find a leather in Poland uh, of high quality, it was only in France and Belgium and the minimum quantity order for, uh, for this leather was 10 times bigger than we could afford. And even if we could, we haven't had a place to, to store it. Also, we were able to reinvest only about 20% of income back to the business because of uh, quite low paying jobs that we had at this time. So that was hard time and hard decision, but we kept our website up and running, but all products were out of stock. And we are in Cascais, in Portugal, near Lisbon. And behind me 
is the Paula Rego Museum. Two years and dozens of emails from people willing to buy something from us, we decided to relaunch. And in the meantime, I made a career shift from an architect to product designer and deepened my knowledge about startups and product strategies. Also, the leather market in Poland has developed quite nice. We have two great craftsmen and a decent leather tanner in Poland. Also, we are able to reinvest 100% of income back to the business that should ensure organic growth and keep it separate from our personal finances. And the company stays true to its core values, craftsmanship, simplicity and local production. And I dedicate 20% of my time to I mean, a few hours and the remaining to autumn robotic startup and being a designer. So what can you learn from our story? Number one is start your business as a side hustle before you quit your day job and think about scaling up from the beginning because you need to scale up at least to the point when the business can grow organically and you can you and you are able to pay everyone including you every month also your core values and beliefs should never change i hope you find this video helpful and you won't have to learn my mistakes the hard way. Check out I many few words website. We have new products and pre-order. Find us on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, see you next time and enjoy some more footage from our stay in Lisbon.